What's up guys, Rob from showingmotorparts.com here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to replace the pinpoint GPS module for the MotorGuide XI3 or XI5. The pinpoint GPS module controls all of your GPS features like anchor lock, heading lock, jog, and cruise control. If your motor's not connecting to satellite signal or if it's drifting off course or has a mind of its own, it might be the sign of a bad GPS module. If you guys need to pick one of these up, we'll have the link in the description below. I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to replace it, so let's get started. First, we're going to disconnect power from the motor. Next, we're going to remove the top cover by taking the five number two Phillips screws out of the control box base. And now you can pull the top cover off. Next, you're going to cut the zip tie holding the sonar wire bundle. If your motor doesn't have sonar, you can disregard this step. Now we can disconnect the sonar clip. To disconnect this clip, you're going to need a small flathead screwdriver. Next, we can remove the upper module by taking out the two Phillips screws. Once that is loose, you can pull it out of the control box. And now we can unravel it from the coil cord. And now if you have a sonar wire, you can pull it free from the old GPS cable. Next, you can remove the side plates from both sides of your bracket. There are two number three Phillips screws on each side. Be careful not to damage the locating tabs when you're removing these side plates. Next, we're going to put the motor in the deployed position, giving us access to the indicator panel. Next, you can remove the indicator panel from the mount by lifting and rotating it to clear the foot release lever. You don't need to unplug the indicator panel from the board. Now we can run the long GPS cable back up through the control housing. And last, we can unplug the short cable from the control board. And now that that's free, we can slide the old GPS module out of the control housing. Now we can install our new lower GPS module. It's gonna slide into the slot just like this. The male and female wires are going to run through this groove right here. And then the GPS cable is going to run out of this outer groove and around the coil cord. Just like that. If your GPS module is hooked up to an NMEA gateway, then you will route the long cable with the female connector through these slots and exit it through the groove in the control housing. If it's not hooked up to a gateway, then you can coil it up and leave it inside of the control housing. The short wire with the male connector is going to plug into the control board. Now we can reinstall our indicator panel. Make sure that none of your wires are being pinched or pulled too tight. Now you can put your side plates back on. Make sure that the side plates are going over the top of this lip on your indicator panel. Now if your motor has built-in sonar, we're going to reroute the sonar cable through the GPS cable. Okay. 
Next, we can put the motor back into the stowed position and route the GPS cable and upper module up the coil cord to the control box. Now we can run our upper GPS module and sonar wire up into the control box. Your wires are going to fit into the two grooves on the bottom side of the coil cord grommet. Next we can hook the sonar cable connector back up. We're going to fold the wire back up, put a zip tie around it, and slide it back into place. Next, we can reinstall the upper GPS module. On the one side, it's going to say up. This end is going to be mounted up towards the top cover when installing it. And now we can reinstall the top cover. And once you do that, you are finished and ready to sync your remote to the new GPS module. The first time the trolling motor is powered up, the handheld remote will need to be linked to the trolling motor. You're going to start by deploying the motor and then hooking the motor up to power. Within 10 seconds after connecting the power cables, press and hold the left and right arrow buttons on the handheld remote at the same time. The trolling motor will make a low tune to confirm that the handheld remote has been linked to the motor. The mounting angle calibration is required when a GPS module is installed. It can be done either with the boat in or out of the water. First, you're going to deploy the motor and adjust the height so that you can steer the motor. Next, you can power the motor on and wait for the GPS to acquire signal. Once you have a fixed GPS position, the light on the indicator panel will illuminate and you'll hear an audible tune. Once your motor has GPS signal, you can steer your motor with your remote so that the nose of the lower unit is facing straight ahead and the prop is facing the rear of the boat, parallel with the keel of the boat. Once the lower unit is lined up, you're going to press and hold the manual mode button on the remote. Then you're going to press 1, 1, 2 on the remote. The motor should make an audible tune and then return to manual mode. Once you do that, you've completed the mounting angle calibration. The compass calibration is required when a GPS module is installed. It can be done either with the boat in or out of the water. First, you're going to deploy the motor and adjust the height so that you can steer the motor. Next, you can power the motor on and wait for the GPS to acquire signal. Once you have a fixed GPS position, the light on the indicator panel will illuminate and you'll hear an audible tune. Next, you're going to press and hold the manual mode button on your remote and then press 1, 1, 1. The motor should make an audible tune and the GPS status light will turn off on the indicator panel. Next, you're going to drive your boat in two circles. This can be done either by towing the boat on the trailer or driving in two circles on the water using your outboard. Once you complete the second circle, your GPS status light will turn back on and you should hear an audible tune. Once you do that, you've completed the compass calibration. So that covers it for the Pinpoint GPS Module Replacement. If you guys need to pick one of these up, we'll have the link in the description below. I hope this video helped. If it did, make sure to give us a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and keep trolling.